Hope you're well, welcome to my channel. So this is where I talk about Twin Flame Process and these are the monthlies by Sunsign for September 2023. If anybody wants to get a more in-depth personal reading or do a Skype session, all my information is on my website and the link to that is in the description box below. So I hope you have a very good month, lots of love and see you in the next video. This is your reading for September 2023. So it is today, the 31st of August, and it is a Pisces full supermoon. So let's see what they're going to have to say for you. So special time for Pisces is the first thing they're saying. And they're showing me a rainbow and a pot of gold. So you've got a reward coming this month, uh, something unexpected. Um, they're saying something that you really, that you want, that you desire. So it's unexpectedly coming, but it's something that you know about and that you've been wanting for a long time. Uh, it could be Twin Flame Reunion, but I feel it could also be, when they're saying Pot of Gold, it could be some kind of goods or a service that you find out about that is beneficial to you. Um, let's have a look and see what the cards say. I have got it being quite a busy month for you. I've got a lot of elves running around, uh, getting lots of errands done and lots of um, tying up loose ends, they're saying. Um, on the ground, I've got you on the ground, so it's like uh, running around in the physical. And um, management, they're saying, organisation. I think we had the same energy for someone else, but I can't remember who it was. I think it might have been Leo. Uh, so it's very similar to whoever that was, in terms of you being very busy, um, planning, they're showing me like you rolling out a document, looking at plans, so planning and uh, talking to a lot of people, making changes, they're saying, looking at how your life is, uh, how your life is basically, making changes in your life. So I think this moon for you is that's what it's going to be about. Healing for Pisces is going to be about you making lots of changes, lots of little changes in your life it might just be like as well that you've just you decide to like you know that some things you're not going to do anymore um i feel like you're just going to say i've had enough of that now i'm not going to do that anymore about these little things so it's like tidying up your life and making it more streamlined and more um they just said super focused so I guess the focus is on Pisces, right, with the supermoon. So it's about you focusing in on your life and bringing more clarity to your life this month. Uh, cleaning away the de debris. So cleaning out anything that doesn't work for you anymore and getting rid of it. Let's have a look. We've got two pentacles, which is two people. Um, they're saying you're making room. So you're making room for somebody to come into your life so you are going to be getting rid of any outdated outworn habits or also um you know things like goods activities just ways of living you know how you organize your day that kind of stuff you're going to be more putting it into a different order maybe and so things work more smoothly and cleanly throughout the day so that you're not like racing around like a headless chicken you know, from like one thing, maybe doing one thing downstairs and then to go upstairs, it's going to be like, okay, I'm going to do everything upstairs and I'm going to do everything downstairs. Just as simple like that, right, because it's little things, dark to light. So effectively, everything that's physical has an energetic uh, relationship. Well, a physical activity has a relationship with an energetic connection, as in twin flames. So stuff like cleaning the house up, is actually bringing dark to light. <laughs> Anything that involves cleaning is bringing dark to light. So the physical activity of that is um, a representation of the what is required energetically. 
So the bringing of the dark to light, i.e. the bringing of the twin flame into your physical environment, will require some cleaning up of the of the life, of the house, of the environment. And, you know, even it's like dusting or washing things and that kind of stuff. Seven of Pentacles, fruition on that. So you've got two people, you've got one coming in, dark to light. That's just the cleaning up the life, basically. Getting rid of things that don't work. Maybe throwing things away that are broken, that kind of stuff. Like maybe you've got something sitting there and you're like... I know I'm never going to use that again, so you're giving it away, or you're putting it on eBay, or you know, that kind of stuff. Fruition coming from that, so it means that when you clear up what's no longer needed, something new can drop into place. Otherwise your life gets crowded out, right, because you've got everything. You've got old things and there's no room for the new things, or there's no right, right environment. The environment's got to be right for this new thing to come in. So the cleaning up of the environment, the physical sense, is bringing in the new, the world completion. So I'm feeling like this is the first part of the month, and I'm feeling this happens at mid-month, that you're, this activity is the first part of the month, maybe even just the first week, actually. And this is going to be complete. And what we've got here in the heart of the matter, Ten of Pentacles, completion, again. But this is in a physical sense. So this is like something coming in, like the pot of gold, you know. Um, everything is representation of everything. So even if you were to, for example, clean up your house, get rid of something, I don't know, like let's say a washing machine or a fridge that's like past its best, doesn't work properly, then the act of doing that and then buying a new one, something like that here, right in the middle, is very sim is symbolic of you bringing a brand new big thing into your life, which is symbolic of your twin flame reunion. So every time you do anything like that, it's like offering up an opportunity of bringing something big into your life by saying, look, I'm not afraid to get rid of that old thing that doesn't work anymore. I'm not afraid to get rid of that, and, and I'm not afraid to spend the money on getting something new. Because all of that is the elimination of fear, both in the fear of poverty, and the fear of just having change, you know, and the fear of whatever that entails, you know, having people deliver it and having them fit it and, you know, having people in your house that are doing something, even all that kind of stuff, right, is in this clearing spectrum of bringing something new in. And then Eight of Wands, which is connection vibrationally. So as I said, it's like every activity in the physical world is completing your vibrational link with your twin flame. So you might just feel like really pushed, you know, really guided to like start clearing up and get rid of something old and bring in something new without having any fear of repercussions of, i.e., you know, okay, I'm going to be really poor if I buy that. So getting rid of that fear of uh, loss, basically. And everything has a connection in your twin flame. So you getting rid of the fear of loss or... Um, poverty or something going wrong by buying something new, replacing something, is this, it's going to inge engender in your twin um, also the disintegration of a fear of doing something new and being someone new and going somewhere new and coming back to you, do you see? So it's all like connected in everything you do. Uh, let's go here and then we've got Ace of Wands which is pure potential and positivity and point of attraction. So fruition on something you do, completion on that and buying something new <laughs> is creating a new you and it's creating the possibility of someone new, right? So it's like all leading to the one thing basically down here, the one in number one, which is coming from your, um, your, uh, Getting things off your agenda, so you're no longer having to think about that thing that you've been putting off that needs to be done. Because when you get rid of that thing from your environment, you are, you have more space, and you have more um, opportunity for something new to come in. So if you were thinking about something that's broken repeatedly, oh, I must get rid of that thing. I must buy a new one. It that's taking up energy, right? But when you do the thing of getting rid of the thing and you buy the new one, that's freeing up energy. And then you're free of that thinking about that thing. 
and then you can something new can just arrive because something will always take the place of something that leaves and this is a relationship that's it's the same between everything so you know a wardrobe is the same as a relationship with a person <laughs> basically you get rid of the wardrobe with the wonky leg and the door that keeps banging open and even if you don't buy a new one you're still freeing up space for something brand you could get a person come and take the place of that wardrobe for example it's all um equal in the eyes of vibrational activity let's go here new road forward so it's, again it's like empty space right there's nothing there in between the sticks the ones so something new can arrive through that space or you can walk through into a new you're walking into a new environment when you change something in your environment uh, so that's what that is there inviting something new in basically and three of pentacles which is something new coming in creation in the physical I've got that there opposite two people someone new coming in completion physically and um, bring you know bringing abundance and something new dropping in created and underneath the devil what you draw to you so this month is an acti is a active month for just creating space uh, and just to say again it is the relationship between the physical and the vibrational so it's creating space in your physical environment you are allowing space in an energetic environment which is allowing something to draw forward eight of wands there which is incoming here the devil energy what you're connected to so drawing forward something that you're connected to so everything in your that you ever desired is in your vibration which circles you and um, when you get rid of something in your physical environment which is the heart of the circle it means something that's circling you in your vibrational environment can come and take the place of that physical thing that left so whatever it is you, you might be just more than one thing you might be throwing out several old pairs of shoes. It could be as simple as that. These are the things that circle back to you, right? So it's not going to be, for example, a pair of shoes that you know you're going to wear this winter because you wore them all last winter. But it might very well be that one pair of shoes that you bought that you thought you would wear that are sitting in the wardrobe and they've been brought out of that closet five winters in a row and you have never worn them and every time it's winter you're like I've still got that pair of boots and I still haven't worn them <laughs> you know and they're taking up space because they're not doing anything useful being in your life if you don't wear them and they've been there for five years so it's that kind of thing right that goes in this kind of sweeping up and cleaning up it's that kind of thing uh, it's also something fruitful, right? So it would be something unused that is quite in quite good nick, quite good condition, because it's something fruitful. So it's the bigger the item, the bigger ticket, the bigger the bigger ticket item that you have the you know the lack of fear about getting rid of that allows a, an even bigger ticket item to arrive in your life. So I'm going to get one more out. Let's have a look process hanged man in the in the middle so it's the process of that the devil underneath and then we've got higher self higher self is the let go so letting go of physical items just as important as letting go of anything else when you hang on to anything through fear oh you know like i've had it five years i've never used it but you never know <laughs> i might need it i better not get rid of it well you know is that really the case or how about I just get rid of it because I know you used it and if I ever need one I'll buy another one that's lack of fear right so it could be that to a pentacles physical self it's about something you're gonna do physical self creation through pentacles and the creation of love coming in knight of cups so making space for love through activity of relinquishing items that you maybe are fearful of letting go of you know oh it's new I've never used it I can't get rid of that well that's just fear isn't it seven of pentacles three of wands on the horizon when you let go of it ace of wands 
and energy movement. So it's bringing it in, right? Through the letting go of something almost brand new, you're bringing in something else that is um, more of what you want, basically. Because it said that underneath, remember, the devil, that's what you desire. So it's bringing in something you want. Five of Swords, physical, moving into the physical, so it's a let go um, of something that you don't want, or you don't need, or you don't use. Uh, two of Wands, and then we've got a shift, tower, and an ending. So again, it's chucking something out, simple as that. The world, just take the bull by the horns, you know, grit your teeth, <laughs> put on your best self, and throw it out, whatever it is. Pisces, healing, complete. What are you hanging on to that you no longer need or you, you, that is not serving you? By having you circle back to it again and again and again, saying one day I'll use it. Eight of Wands, vibrational connection. And there, look, Eight of Swords, free it up. That's the mind connection. Free it up, get rid of it, whatever it is, because that means you're making space for something new to come in. So Twin Flames connected through the mental aspect as well as everything else. So when you like, get rid of that thing out of your thoughts that you keep revisiting, you're making, you're, the equivalent in your twin is making, is them, it's this for example. So you're Twin Flame, right? And you have a Twin Flame and you've not seen the Twin Flame for a very long time and you haven't heard from them for a very long time. And in your environment, there is something you don't use that is nearly new, that you need to chuck out because you're never going to use it, even though you've got a fear of one day you might need it. And what's equivalent to you circling around that thing in your head and coming back to it all the time is the equivalent of them in their head saying, I really should contact whatever, put your name there. Um, but it's been such a long time that I don't feel like I can. It's the same energy as you going, I've got that thing and I've never used it but I really feel I should hang on to it just in case I need it. It's the same in them, right, as them saying, and I really should contact them, but I don't feel I can because it's been such a long time. You see, it's the same in a different way. So you need to get rid and they will move forward. All right, so that's it for Pisces. And I hope you have a lovely month. And I will see you later. Lots of love.